Howdy guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching, my name is Travis Compton and today I'm gonna be talking about adding a normal distribution curve on top of your histogram in Power BI. Now, like most things, how I make these videos is this was something that I was tasked with at work. And having worked in Excel in our previous, doing this type of task, just adding a distribution curve on top of your histogram it is pretty simple enough. And I was thinking the same thing would be the case in Power BI. And uh, I was kind of wrong. And as I did a lot of looking online and on Google and YouTube for how to do this, I, I didn't find a lot of resources. So if you're like me and you're wondering how to create this distribution curve on your histogram, you are in the right place. I'm going to go over how to do this quickly. So let's first open up a new tab here. Let's expand our filter section. You're going to want to create a line and clustered column chart. We'll expand this just so we can see it better. And this example is mainly more for visualization sake rather than analysis. So let's just say I'm in the market to buy a new car and I'm a real stickler for fuel economy. So I want to see the distribution of miles per gallon highway with the type of car. Now, just dropping this in, we see this just count of type. There's several different types of cars. So let's throw a filter on here so we can, uh, you know, narrow that down a little bit. I'm looking to buy a sedan. And there we go, we have our histogram chart. So next thing we're gonna wanna do, and you'll see why we do this before we get into the curve, is we're gonna create a couple cards here. Well, two to be exact. And we'll grab miles per gallon highway. And if you work in Power BI at all, you know it. Lo they love to sum everything. And if you watch my videos at all, you know that I love the command C and command V function, which is exactly what we'll do here. We'll just command C that card and command V it, drop it in there, and we'll change this to standard deviation. So now that we have these cards, let's create a new column. And this is going to pull up our DAX for us real quick. Uh, let's first rename this. So this is going to be our distribution curve. And for this, uh, we're going to use the norm dist function to get the distribution curve. So it's going to first ask for the x, which is miles per gallon highway. It's going to then ask for the mean, and this is exactly why we got those cards there, so we can look at our mean and standard deviation. So 28.63, standard deviation of 4.46. And then it's going to ask for cumulative, which is just set to false. Close your parentheses, hit the check mark. And let's create this column. Cool, there we go. We have our column. We'll click back into our graph here. Grab our normal distribution column. Drop it in line values. And there we are. We're almost there. It has all these jagged curves, and we want a uh, or jagged ridges rather. We want a nice smooth curve. And again, this is because Power BI loves to sum everything. Let's go and click the average. And there we go. Simple as that, guys. We now have our normal distribution curve on our histogram chart. So pretty simple overall. Uh, I probably spent a lot of hours trying to figure this out while at work. Um, one thing to note is that this curve right here will only work for sedans. If you wanted to get a curve for sports, vehicles, or SUVs, you would essentially have to come in here and make a new distribution curve. Because remember, this is, the, uh, uh, this is the average of miles per gallon highway and standard deviation standard deviation for miles per gallon highway for sedan and none of these others. So as you're making these charts and graphs, keep that in mind. And as simple as that, guys, that'll do it for us today. I think in the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, just making your dashboard look really nice. Because my boss always says, it's not the data that makes the sale, it's the pretty picture. So look forward to that in the next one. If you guys like this, please let me know, like, comment, or subscribe, or don't, whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. So let's look forward to the next one, and thank you for watching. If this helps anyone, uh, you know, I did my job. Cool. Other than that, guys, y'all have a good rest of your night. Bye.